I have some exciting news. Cartoon Animator has just received a free update packed with all new tools and features that are going to have you animating like never before. So let me take you on a tour of everything that's new in Cartoon Animator 5.3, including the incredible puppet stage where you can control your actor's performance in real time with Motion Live mocap, including their face and body thanks to the introduction of the new trigger system, which allows you to activate motions, performs, and effects for your actors with a single button press for instant results in real time. This is the perfect tool for live performances and streaming. And for your animated projects, you now have control over your actors' body movements while you capture your expressions, movement, and lip syncing so you become the actor in your movie. It's amazing. Look at my lips. Look at them. All of these new features make your 2D animation productions faster and easier than ever before. We now have multiple cameras for Cartoon Animator, which you can cycle through in real time, putting you in the director's chair with total control. And there are some other amazing tricks you can do with your camera that I'll be showing you. And in this update to Cartoon Animator, we now have image sequencing for character parts like eyes and mouths, meaning you can create the smoothest lip syncing ever and even create animated face and body parts with amazing results. So let's get started. I want to introduce you to Cartoon Animator's new puppet stage and show you what you can do. I can build all my own scenes and I can use characters from the content store and marketplace or create all my own custom characters. And there are hundreds of quality characters available that have been made by our talented developers. With Motion Live 2D, we can capture our own performance and put it into our characters. But now when I open the puppet stage menu, I have all these little cards here called triggers, which represent things like motions, perform actions, and more. With Motion 2D Live Recording, I can activate these triggers in real time and my character will respond instantly. All I need to do is press the hotkey for each trigger and my actor comes to life. I can even apply triggers live while capturing my performance using my webcam and Motion Live 2D. So I can perform as my character and even lip sync him to my voice all while activating triggers that make him do anything I want. And triggers can be fully customized to suit your project. You can use preset decks of triggers or build your trigger deck by rearranging them, deleting them, and adding more as you need them. And you can change the parameters for the triggers so it affects different parts of your actor's face. For instance, with this trigger, I want to be able to still capture my facial expressions with my webcam, so I'll disable the face targets. Now, my character moves and responds with the triggers I have preset, but I can still capture his facial expressions and lip syncing at the same time. You can set your own hotkeys for your triggers and decide whether you want your trigger to play once or as a loop, or even control it with your mouse movement. Puppet Stage is perfect for anyone who wants to have a character as a host for their videos or for their live streams, because you can perform as your character in real time, including voiceover and lip syncing. And you can easily green screen your character over the top of any footage. The best way to introduce yourself to the new Puppet Stage is to download my Clang character from the new Cartoon Puppet Pack which gives you everything you need to get started, including three entire new sets of puppet stage projects called Chill, Cute, and Dramatic. To help you tell different stories. Each of these packs has a number of different triggers for the face and body, which you can activate to change the emotions, expressions, and reactions of your characters. And don't forget, you can apply these packs to any characters not just clean. Here, you can practice working with triggers, cameras, and live motion to get the results you want. 
Experiment with the different triggers and see what each of them do. And you can use these packs as a guide for learning how to build your own custom puppet stage packs for any character. But the best thing about the new puppet stage for Cartoon Animator is its compatibility with your actors. This is going to work with many of the characters you already own. And of course, there are hundreds of quality actors available from independent developers in the content store and 2D marketplace. You can take any actor, find the right scene to place them in, set up your deck of triggers, record your character's performance in real time, and even add in some fun special effects. Speaking of effects, Cartoon Animator 5.3 has some of the most amazing animated effects which you can control using triggers that have been created by veteran animator Declan Walsh. Declan has contributed a wonderful collection of hand-drawn animated effects that will help your characters express themselves in fun ways. With my character and props loaded to stage mode and puppet stage activated, I can use hotkeys that I set up to activate the effects while I'm recording my character's performance. How good is that? Another new feature for the Cartoon Animator 5.3 update are the new image sequences that you can apply to your actors. In the same way you can create sprite sequences for creating animated props, you can now use sprite sequences for body parts like eyes and mouths. So instead of only swapping between single frames, each new sprite selection will play an animated sequence. Previously for Cartoon Animator, each character had an individual mouth sprite for each sound or mouth shape. And you'd cycle through them to make your character talk. Now with sprite sequences, a single mouth movement can be made up of many individual sprites which animate the mouth's movement helping to transition between mouth shapes more smoothly and make lip syncing more accurate. And you're not just limited to mouths here either. You can use this process to add sequences to any face parts, including eyes. So you can create some fun emotions and reactions for your characters. You can make them angry, dazed and confused, in love, or create all your own animated sequences for every part. You can even change the speed of the sprite sequence in composer mode. Now your characters are going to be more expressive and your lip syncing is going to be smoother than ever before. Cartoon Animator 5.3 now puts you in the director's chair, offering you multiple cameras for your projects, which you can operate in real time. Changing between shots in a project is as easy as creating a new camera and setting its position using the camera tools. Set up as many shots from different cameras as you want and give each of them their own hotkey. With hotkeys, you can cycle between cameras while recording your character's performance in real time, or you can switch between them as you play back your project to edit your movie camera shots before exporting the final project. These new camera functions will make your stories more engaging and really hold the attention of your audience. One moment, it's all colourful and playful. And the next, it's like shadows closing in. But there's another clever new thing your cameras can do in Cartoon Animator 5.3. And this one has me very excited. Your cameras can now track and follow actors or objects within a scene, making your camera shots even more dynamic and interesting. And camera tracking is as easy as selecting a camera and locking its focus onto your actor or prop. So you no longer have to manually keyframe your camera's movements to follow your actors around a scene. Camera tracking is going to change the way you're able to tell your stories. All these new features just add to the incredible lineup of tools that we already have in Cartoon Animator. Tools like Spring Bones, Freeform Deformation, SVG Color Adjustment and Motion Pilot all work together to speed up the animation process and are designed to make your animation experience faster, easier 
and as much fun as possible. Now, anyone can animate. Even if you have no drawing ability whatsoever, you can still be producing quality animations in no time. And you can even do it live. The Cartoon Animator 5.3 update gives you more control over your character's performance than ever before. With smoother animation results and advanced camera controls that will have you animating like a pro.